glad to see you once again myself sudarshan chemistry pgt acs kakrapa and my colleagues sir pv nangoli pgt science and prashcha uh, pandya lab assistant department of chemistry acs kakrapa in class 11th we have three sets of experiments we call it as short experiment salt analysis and uh, volumetric analysis now if you take the volumetric analysis this is also known as a quantitative analysis or we call it as a titration now the question is uh, why it is known as a quantitative analysis in this experiment we calculate the amount of the substance present in the given solution and so we call it as a quantitative analysis the second one is uh, then what is a titration it is very simple titration is intermixing of the two liquids in which you will be knowing the concentration of one solution and you have to calculate the concentration of the another solution the aim of today's experiment is to prepare 100 ml of 0.05 m na2co3 solution and by using this solution find the concentration and the strength of a given hcl solution now if you look at the chemical reaction between these two solution sodium carbonate reacts with hcl during the titration and it will be converted into nacl h2o and co2 gas to start the experiment we have to prepare a standard solution the question is what is a standard solution standard solution is a solution whose concentration we will be knowing because you are preparing it so in this experiment the standard solution is 0.05 m na2co3 so we know the concentration here so that solution we call it as a standard solution now to prepare the standard solution we have to dissolve 0.53 grams of sodium carbonate in 100 ml of solution where from we got this value this value we can obtain by using the molarity formula m is equal to w upon gmw into v you rearrange it you will get w is equal to m into gmw into v m is the molarity of the solution which you have to prepare that is equal to 0.05 m and the gram molecular mass of sodium carbonate is 106 and uh, you are preparing 100 ml so it will be 0.1 liters you simplify this uh, you will be getting 0.530 grams now weigh 0.53 grams of sodium carbonate exactly by using the simple balance or by using the electronic balance of course nowadays in the labs we all are using the electronic balances so you can use exactly by using that balance you take exactly 0.53 grams of sodium carbonate now that salt we have to take it in a standard flask this is known as a standard flask to prepare a standard solution we use the standard flask first to pour the salt in the standard flask add little amount of water and shake it well once the salt dissolves completely add the water slowly and make up the solution up to the mark up to the mark you have to make it up to this mark you have to add the water and see the lower meniscus it will be standard solution i have prepared already the standard solution and we kept one side that i will show you then in this experiment we have to take the hcl given solution in the purette and we have to take the standard solution by using the pipette into the conical flask that i will show you and then we have to add a indicator now why to add the indicator the indicator is a substance which shows one color in acidic medium and one color in basic medium and this indicator will show the end point at the end point if you look at the color change it is remember the color of the solution will change to yellow to pink once the color changes from yellow to pink then the titration is over now we have to make the readings recorded and then we will be doing the calculation for this i will come back after showing the practicals now if you come to the practical how to do this first take a pipette and already we have prepared the standard solution of sodium carbonate suck 10 ml of standard solution of sodium carbonate by using the pipette 
Now pour the solution into conical flask. Now add one two drops of indicator. The indicator today we are using is a methyl orange. Just add one two drops of indicator and please notice the color. Now if you look at the color, the color is yellowish. Students, here we have two questions which are asked in the exam. The first question what they are asking in the exam is uh, in this titration why to add only methyl orange why not the other indicator the second one is why methyl orange is given yellow color in a sodium carbonate solution now in the procedure already we filled the standard hcl whatever the given solution is there in the burette and we made it up to the zero mark now add the taken HCl in the burette drop wise into the conical flask and stir it continuously. And if you are going on drop wise, you can see the color change at one stage. Now just uh, let us add the acid drop wise and stir it continuously and observe the color of the solution in the conical flask. Now, during this uh, titration, all of you remember, you should not keep the solution static, sir. You have to stir it uh, properly. When we stir it properly, the uniform mixture will be there and the indicator will be interacting with every molecule of the substance present in the conical flask. Now, you see, now if you look at the color of the solution after the titration, then it changes into pink. This shows that uh, the titration is over. What does it mean? The neutralization reaction is completed. Now throw the solution in a sink and wash the conical flask again and set the solution again and do the titration and repeat the titration at least to two to three times. Now come to the observation table. In the observation table, you have the serial number, pipette reading, burette reading. Serial number, of course, if you are doing three times, it will be one, two, three. Just for instance, I am telling you three times it is. And the pipette reading, it is very important. In our labs, we have the pipette of 10 ml, we have the pipette of 25 ml also. So it is mandatory to mention the pipette reading also. Today, I have taken up in my experiment 10 ml pipette. So I have written pipette reading is a 10 ml. And before the titration, I have taken the HCl at a zero point in the burette. So initial reading of the burette is a zero ml. And during the titration, I have consumed 10.3 ml of HCl in the first reading, initial reading. And the final reading of the burette is 10.3. Now how much acid is consumed? 10.3 minus zero, it will become 10.3. Repeat the experiment. We have repeated three times and when I did the second time, remember, I have got 10.2 ml and when I repeated the third time also, I have got 10.2 ml. So now, if you look at the three readings, remember, in the three readings, any two readings must be the same and the reading which is the same, that is called as a concurrent reading. So, in our today's experiment, uh, the concurrent reading is uh, 10.2 ml. Dear students, I want to bring to your notice, in some books or in some places, uh, you might have read it, uh, concurrent reading is the average of this. It is not average of this. Uh, it is the repeated reading. Once again, I would like to tell you, concurrent reading is not the average reading. It is the reading which we got it uh, more frequently. So for my experiment, this is concurrent reading is 10.2 ml. And the last part of the experiment is you have to do the calculation and you have to report the results. To the calculation and the results, you take HCl one side and sodium carbonate other side and write down the molarity, volume and number of moles and Na2CO3 also molarity, volume and number of moles. For HCl, I have to calculate the molarity. I have put one question mark. And volume is concurrent reading. The concurrent reading is uh, nothing but 10.2 ml. And the number of moles of HCl taking part in the reaction will be 2. If you look at the balance of equation, here you have 2 moles of HCl. Therefore, N1 is equal to 2. 
when it comes to na2co3 sodium carbonate concentration which we have prepared is 0.05 and volume of this one is equal to 10 ml because i have set the solution by using the pipette and the number of moles of sodium carbonate is equal to 1 because if you look at the equation the number of moles of sodium carbonate is 1 mole now come to the one of the famous molarity equation for the titration that is m1 v1 upon n1 is equal to m2 v2 upon n2 this we are going to read it in class 11 as well as in class 12th also now if i want the calculator calculator concentration of hcl m1 is equal to rearrange the formula m2 v2 by n2 into n1 upon v1 substitute all the values m2 is equal to 0 0.05 v2 is equal to 10 and n2 is equal to 1 and n1 is equal to 2 and v1 is equal to 10.5 do the simplification you will be getting this is roughly 0 0.098 moles per liter so now the first conclusion is the first result is concentration of given HCl solution which I labeled as M1 is equal to 0.098 or roughly it is 0.1. You are supposed to write the unit of this concentration. It is mandatory. The unit of molarity is moles per liter or in some books instead of writing moles per liter it will be represented by capital M. Both are the same. The second part of the result is strength of HCl. Strength of given HCl is equal to its molarity into its gram molecular mass. Gram molecular mass of HCl you should know this is 36.5. And we have already calculated the concentration of HCl which we got it as 0 0.098 and that you multiply by 36.5 and you will get 3.578 grams per liter. So, for our today's experiment, one is the concentration and the second one is the strength. Both the things we have to show in the result. This titration is known as acid-based titration and we have three titrations in class 11th and three titrations in class 12th which we repeat it again in class 12th. Thank you very much and do it and enjoy.